have a new setup here and I wanted to see what it looks like. So this is the width of my studio. My desk here is running. Well, I'm sitting on the side of my desk. You can see where normally I'd be editing and we need to fill this space. This is for a TV in the future. Finished my charging wall back here. So we've got charging station, which is gonna grow up into this negative space. All the tools and some of the gear that I use most often in the studio. And I've got my backdrop here. So that is better than just the white wall. Pulled that down, even though we're not shooting against it. That's another setup. So I'm looking for different setups in the studio all the time because you can have a small space fireworks outside happy fourth they're still launching them off even though it's past midnight happy fourth to you if you're in the us of a and uh happy canada day that recently happened and lots of celebrations thanks for tuning in no matter where you're at that's the beauty of this we're global so yeah no matter what even if you have a tiny space you can get a lot of setups and that's one of my goals here in this studio is to have five or six or however many setups I can get from just a small space. This is about 200 square feet, so it's not that small. Probably the size of an average US home bedroom. Some people will say my room isn't half that size and some people's rooms are twice that size. So anyways, smallish space, multiple setups making things look different. So. When I added those lights back there on the pegboard, I knew that if I was close to the camera like this, even though I'm shooting on a wide angle lens, it's f2.8, the Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter. Check the description for all the gear that I'm using here. I always put everything I use to shoot each video is in the description. Of course, using those links supports this channel at no cost to you, so super thanks for that. And I'm so close, I can manual focus, because that's I'm in manual focus right now, and I can check things like false color and focus peaking on the monitor that I'm using. So hopefully the Rode Video Micro, Video Mic Pro, I just had the micro, the Rode Video Mic Pro, which is better, will be okay because I'm so darn close to it, even though that I'm talking with a wall that is right behind the camera and into a corner. And in this studio, that has not been a good combination, but I like being this close in demo situations where I'm showing you something to the camera because I can hold it right here. It's a lot of fun, it's a different look, but that wide angle lens gives me the ability to turn this smaller space into a bigger space. I'm also testing out shooting an S-Log2 on the A6500 from Sony. That is my main camera right now, but I'm determined to shoot S-Log2 and get that right for my skin tones and for exposure. So I'm working on that picture profiles. I think I'm gonna stick with S-Log2 from all the things I've tried until I really dial it in to what I like. Sony gives you a lot of options. With that comes a lot more testing that you have to do. So good and bad. Based on what I see on the monitor, I like it. So hopefully this is another setup. We'll see, I'll have to see how the footage looks once I bring it in to the edit. And I'm probably not helping myself out because I'm mixing light temperatures. So everything you're seeing behind me is tungsten, but I'm actually lit by a daylight balanced uh, big softbox. I did a custom white balance on the A6500, so I'm hoping that's going to make this work out all right. Sometimes it looks better if you do tungsten for the person, the talent, and then daylight in the back, but we're trying that in reverse. So always be experimenting. You have to get it wrong in order to know how to make it right for the camera, the gear, the situation, the environment, the, the lighting, everything that you are using. You have to push it too far to see if it all works. All right, in a super fast comparison shot, this is in the daytime. My large French door here is providing most of the light, not only into the room, but a lot on my face as well. But I have a ring light, a small light, it's basically just a LED light that is giving me fill uh, on my face. And I didn't even check my focus. We're still in focus, all right. So this is just a comparison shot to see how this setup might differ in the daytime being lit with a broader, bigger natural light. And this is with the LED light off. I should really iron my shirts or pull them out of the dryer sooner. <laughs> LED light off, 
key light essentially is a door that is a little too far away to be my key light, but it's giving me half, half of my face. This backdrop is actually serving as negative fill because it's dark. Push it, make mistakes, push it too far. That's how you're going to learn. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be down there chatting it up with you guys. Thanks so much. See you next time.